Alright, how's it going guys, as we're here. So in this video I'll be showing you guys how to make your desktop look something like this. Now this is an updated video to the one from 9 months ago. This one should be simpler to follow and easier to do. So starting off we want to have an animated background, so what you want to do is go into your Microsoft Store, which should be already pre-installed on your PC, and click on search on the top right here, and type in Lively Wallpaper. Now you obviously want to download it, and once you have downloaded it and accepted all of the guidelines, then it should pop up with this window right here, and you have like these pre-installed uh, backgrounds. But you can also click on here on the plus to add a wallpaper and then you can either select a file from your pc like a video file or paste a youtube link now if you're having a hard time finding a good video that looks good as a background they can just click here on more wallpapers it will lead you to the reddit where people actually post in like uh, wallpapers from youtube whatever like youtube links so here let's just go with this one this one looks pretty okay so copy the link paste it in here and click on the arrow then you'll see this window just click on okay and there we go we have the background installed now one thing you might want to do is go in the settings down here Go on audio and turn this all the way down because some of the videos will have a uh, actual audio playing and you'll hear it on your desktop. So for me personally, I don't really like it, so I just turn the volume down. That's pretty much it for the wallpaper part. So the next part would be to uh, change your icons. So I actually downloaded an icon pack from Deviant Art. The icon pack I got is called Fluent Keys Icon Theme. Uh, you can find it under this link right here. It will be down below in the description. One thing you have to do is actually register on Deviant Art and log in to download this pack or like any pack. So just make an account real quick and then log in. Then uh, once you logged in, you can search around for some icon packs. I chose this one. What you want to do is click on download, then select your download folder. I already have it downloaded, but just click on save. So it's in my downloads folder. You want to double click, double click again. Then you have a whole bunch of different formats. You have it for Mac OS, for Windows, you have the PNG files. I'll just go with the Windows one obviously because I'm on Windows. Now I have a day and night one. So uh, this is the night theme, this is the day theme. I personally like the night one better, so that's uh, what I'm going to be using right now. Go back to the folder here then, and to your downloads folder as well. And you'll want to drag the night folder into your downloads folder. I already did it, so once you've done a close out of it, and then you can go to your desktop. Now I already changed the icons that I actually use the most down here, but I'll just change another one just to show you guys how to actually do it. So I'll just change the VLC media player icon, so what you want to do is click your Windows button or just go to wherever your file is located that you want to change the icon from. Then right click on the VLC in my example, then more, open file location, and we'll show up with the uh, VLC media player right here. You want to click on it, then right click, properties, and at the bottom it'll say change icon, click on that, click on browse, and then go where your icons are located, go into the folder and you see all the icons right there. Obviously you want to choose the icon that actually suits the app itself, so I'll just go with the traffic cone right here since the VLC logo is also a traffic cone. So we'll click on that, click OK and then click apply. Some of the apps might need the administrator permission, so I'll just click on continue, OK, and the icon is changed. Now you can put it to the taskbar and you'll have the change icon. And that's pretty much the same process with every single icon. Now one thing is some people might have uh, difficulties with the actual file explorer icon, so just right click on it. Right click on File Explorer one more time, go on Properties, Change Icon, and then select the icon you want to use. I'll just select a different icon for a second, so I'm just going to select this alien one, click on OK and Apply. OK again. Now it might not be updated straight away, so what you want to do is press Control, Shift and Escape to open your Task Manager. Uh, if it looks like this, just click on More Details. And once you have your Task Manager looking like this, you want to open your File Explorer just so it shows up in the Task Manager. You can see Windows Explorer, then right click on it and then you want to restart it. Now, a lot of things will restart, but that's fine. And then once you reopen it, it should change the icon right here. As you can see, it's the alien now. So now that we have the icons out of the way, let's get to the final step of this tutorial, which is the taskbar itself. So for the taskbar, you want to go onto your browser one more time and go to this site called uh, chrisandreessen.nl. This is the creator of taskbar X. And then once you're here, you want to click on current store version down here. It will lead you to the GitHub page. And scroll down and download this uh, Taskbar X neutral zip file. Once you downloaded it, open the zip file and then you want to launch Taskbar X.exe. You can see your uh, Taskbar will move and stuff. Then click on the Taskbar X configurator and open that. And once you open the configurator, it will show up with this one right here. Uh, you have a whole bunch of different settings. So, first of all, you will want to click on transparent, then uh, apply. There we go, click on apply. And as I said, if it doesn't work, then click on restart. It will just restart the whole thing. And now you can see it's transparent but you also have a different settings like transparent gradient opaque and whatever where the position is you can actually change the position of the taskbar and like how it's centered uh, you shouldn't really mess with this because you want to keep it centered because i think that's the way it looks the best and yeah that's pretty much it for the taskbar x part as well you can always just mess around with these settings in your free time here and as you can see whenever you close out of an application it recenters it 
like automatically but also i'll just change the background to this one for a second because i think this one looks better but yeah that's pretty much it then you can just close this window now one more thing you can uh, you guys can do is go and right click on your desktop if you see all your icons and just click on show desktop icons so it actually hides them now if you have more time on your hands then you can actually like sort out your desktop manually put all the files somewhere else so it's cleaner but i think it's just simpler and easier to do just to hide them some other things you could actually do is right click on your taskbar and just copy the settings i have right here so it looks the same there we go this is what your desktop should look like after you actually follow the tutorial very clean no clutter and it just looks very nice so you yeah, guys thank you for watching this video i hope you enjoyed this tutorial it should be way easier to follow than my older one hope you guys enjoy your new look make sure to leave a like and subscribe because i'm very close to hitting 1.1k subs also comment down below what you would like to see in the next video thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye bye